Welcome to Stick at Night. Hudson County Commissioner Anthony L. Romano here representing District 5, Hoboken and Jersey City. As we like to do, we interview people from many different areas of society, uh, whether it be academics, politics, athletics, and what's important to me is also the success of many small businesses throughout this county, especially since they involve women and minorities. And with us today, we're going to have an interesting, very interesting guest, uh, Mrs. Adrienne Braun, uh, who has a successful wedding gown enterprise uh, known as uh, Adrienne Brown Coutures, located in Bayonne. So stay with us when we come back. It's going to be an interesting discussion uh, because Adrienne is a very interesting person and it shows the success that people have that came here from different countries and made a great name for themselves. So we'll be right back. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunnelly Avenue, Jersey City. Hudson County's only monument maker, serving all faiths and cemeteries. Design studio and launch inventory on site. Cemetery inscriptions and custom orders welcome. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, just south of Seacorkers Road. Craftsmanship that will last for all eternity. Burns Brothers, Jersey City, Albert H. Hopper, North Arlington. Visit us on the net. Welcome to Stick at Night. And as I said earlier, we have a very special guest tonight. Uh, for me, success in business is very important. And we have a very successful woman here today, Adrienne Braun from Adrienne Braun Coutures out of 720 Monroe Street, Hoboken. Adrienne, tell us about your business and how you got into it. So very interesting story. I'm from originally from Hungary, from Europe. In 2011, I just literally bought an airplane ticket because I wanted to do something different with my wow. life. I was in a completely different background. I did produce movies. I had my TV shows. I did a lot of events. And I always felt like something is missing from my this life. This is in Vienna? So it was in Hungary. Oh, Hungary. So yeah. give us the background. So you have German descent. Yes. Grew up in Hungary. Yes. And Turkey, how does the Turkish influence? So Turkey came into my life like literally a couple of years ago when I started to shifting my business and become a wedding dress designer that I was looking for people who can produce fabric for me because I felt like in the wedding industry I wanted to do something different than anybody else does and I'm very known for my intricate beading work that I learned from my grandmother back in Hungary. Really? So all the hand stitches, all the sewing and I thought that would be, that would be a really great idea to incorporate in what weddings. What made you want to come to America? I watched so much movie. I would say that I watched too much uh, sex in the city and I wanted to have the lifestyle and that's true. And I, I kind of always had the idea of doing something different. I did not speak English. So that was in 2011. Well, you speak so that perfect was English now. Thank you. I do my best and I still have a lot to learn and I always wanted to challenge myself. So technically I moved here 2011 and I just started working like anybody else. I started cleaning. I worked in a restaurant. So I had wow. a lot of challenges and um, I met my husband like two months later so he was definitely a really good motivation for no, me he from the uh, United States he's from the US yes US. so he was motivated to like you know learn English and also kind of figure out what is exactly that I want to do so I did a lot of stuff I did flea markets I worked in restaurants like I worked literally like anybody else so how did uh, your business what year did that start so my business started in 2014 when I actually got married. So I'm married almost uh, 10 years now. And I started because I did not have my wedding dress. So I didn't have a chance to have one. I'm going to tell you this story maybe in another interview because yeah. that's a very interesting one. I never even told this story anybody, especially in the public, but it's a very interesting and I think it's good motivational. But I didn't have my own wedding dress. So it was motivating me to do one. And when I made it, I just felt that every woman should feel unique and feel something special in the wedding day. So I decided to kind of explore this Before area. Before I ask you what differentiates your gowns from another company's gowns, how is it in America? I mean, obviously, years ago, it was very traditional. Everyone got married, bought a gown, had a formal wedding. Uh, has that changed? Because it seems to have changed that many people don't, uh, they live together, they don't get married, or if they do, they do a destination wedding or just a, a civil ceremony. Um, tell, tell us about that with you. A lot of things change and um, 
Actually, a lot of things is changing every single day and every single month. I can say that, not just year by year. A lot of brides who come into me, they have just certain expectations. So actually, I think it's a great idea to answer your question. Also, what makes me different, Adrian Brown Couture, than any other company? We actually decided that we don't want to help just one certain type of bride. We want to help for everybody. So my company is find a loop in the market that how can we help everybody? So we decided to have an affordable, off the rack wedding dress collection that allows bride to working with their budget and still taking the dress home immediately the day of the consultation. We also created another line of um, wedding dress collection where we actually able to have the dress designed for the bride needs. We call this a luxury collection so the bride can actually come to the store and if they have a higher budget or they decided that they want something different, they can see our luxury collection and they can try those dresses on, they can see how does it feel and they can still do any kind of modification on it. Well, that's very interesting because, again, um, customarily, wedding gowns are, are very expensive. Absolutely. And you being able to work the affordability angle, I think, is something very unique. Absolutely. We also find another way that we are also able to create dresses for those brides who are aiming for something unique and they kind of require to have a wedding gown that nobody else has in the whole world. So it's come to place when I start doing drawing and I actually working with a lot of different ideas to create our own fabric texture as well. So that's really? another level. So we literally cover every single area in this industry from alteration to restoration to everything. So in your location in Hoboken, you also have a staff that makes the dresses. Absolutely. We just moved to this new location, so we have been uh, since 2018 at the Monroe Center. We had the storefront while uh, we figured it out that it's going to be something that we need to expand and we didn't have a chance to expand in the bottom. So we moved up to the fifth floor, which is giving us the ability that have our atelier much bigger. We have the photo shoot area we do almost every single wow. week. We have two consultations uh, possibility in the same time. And it's amazing that we still give the privacy to people that they deserve. Well, when we come back from commercial break, all you prospective brides, uh, we want to give you the uh, information, how you can get in touch with Adrian. Let's give her business a shot here. Affordability, class, elegance, all rolled into one. When we come back again, I'm your county commissioner, Anthony L. Romano, and we'll be right back after commercial break with Adrian Brown Couture's. Consumer Carpets, 3408 Kennedy Boulevard in the Jersey City Heights, your one-stop store for residential and commercial floor treatments. Carpeting, linoleum, tiles, laminates, hardwood floors, area rugs, remnants, all major brands, all in stock. Free estimates, same-day installation. Consumer Carpets, it's savings, selection, installation. Credit cards and debit cards accepted. Financing available. Consumer Carpets, price to fit your budget, installation to fit your schedule. On the net at ConsumerCarpets.com. Consumer Carpets, Jersey City, 201-792-2712. Good Friend Self Storage in North Bergen, New Jersey is a fully climate controlled facility equipped with state-of-the-art security, packing supplies, a refer friend program, and multiple loading docks convenient for commercial use. Located just off of Route 3 at 4301 Tunnelly Avenue, Route 1 and 9. Call 201-867-2444 or visit us on the web today. Good friend self-storage, let us be your good friend. Welcome back to Stick at Night. Let's continue with Adrian Braun from Adrian Braun Coutures. We were talking at the break about uh, Bridezilla and uh, Yes to the Dress. Tell us how you f uh, fit in with all of that. So yes to the dress, as we discussed, is a moment, I would say that when the bride finally decides that that's her dress and that's what she can imagine to walking down the aisle and starting her new path. Does that happen with you? So it happens all the time and, and, how, and every single day that we're very thankful that brides choosing us to, to go with the vision that we can provide for them and make it very customizable. And bridezillas, I got asked these questions a lot if I'm meeting with a lot of bridezillas. I would say, of course, we have, uh, we call bridezillas the bride who tend to be a little bit more difficult than average, but I would say I don't really meet them at all because Bridezilla is usually something when the family has to such a deal with, meaning when the bride doesn't get enough support in my opinion and they get stressed and overwhelmed with so many other things that people should be attend to pay attention around her, that's where the bridezilla things comes up, but it's nothing related to the wedding dress. I do feel like if you as a business owner and my staff is amazing, I have an incredible team that I couldn't be there. How many people there. work for you? 
I have nine people right here and I have 67 overseas. So it's a really amazing team that I'm very thankful for them that everybody is handling everything the way it's supposed to be. We become literally the bride best friend. So how, how many times do you have to fly back and forth to Hungary? I usually go every four to six months to go and just check on the new fabric options and just working on new ideas always with my team, but I usually go every- How do you advertise? So we have a really big team and we have our Facebook and Instagram advertisement because we have a lot of uh, pictures already and a lot of uh, great things that happened with our business. So we showcasing to people what kind of experience they can get here and people coming from the social media platforms. So it's the social media platforms yes. basically. And have you seen that since uh, every year since 2014 has business picked up? Uh, it was tough during COVID, I'm going to assume. So with COVID, it was definitely tough, but as a business owner, I always have to have plan B and plan C. So we were able to help actually to the community and we were sewing and donating masks for wow. every single people. We actually donated a lot for Hoboken Alliance and also all the hospitals, the police departments. We donated over 6,000 masks. So I felt like it's my obligation and opportunity to step in. Actually, it was only me and my husband who I taught him how to sew because there was no other ideas, but we got so much help from police department opening up fabric stores to get fabric so we always try to figure that's it out what can right. we do. That's right, that the PD came from you. Yep. That's, that's really nice of you. That, to see someone so civic minded and giving back and appreciative of uh, the country and, uh, and where you live, it, it's just amazing and I, I compliment you on that. Thank you. So you survived COVID. Yes. And uh, hopefully you'll uh, keep growing. Tell us what your plans are. For the, what's the, what, uh, what are you doing to keep your, your, yourself a, a niche where people are going to come to uh, Bronca Tours? I think when we started our business, we also had to figure it out who we are and we started in a very high end and we started designing dresses because I just love sewing, stitching. I love doing intricate details, but production could be very expensive because every single dress made individually. So I think the best possible way to grow with that we find the possibilities to do affordable wedding dresses and give the opportunities for brides who actually want to stick with certain budget. And I think that makes us a huge difference and the growth is coming from here that when you walk into me, I can help you with so many ways. I can even help you. We have a huge alteration department. So if you do have your wedding gun and you did not purchase from us, you're still welcome and we are able to That's help you. That's another interesting thing that you do, alterations. Absolutely. What, um, and what do you feel um, is, is the most important thing, customer service? Absolutely. Separate, right? I think when the bride walks into the door and they already have a lot of stress into their plates, but they walk in and they feel the welcoming arm and they know that the dress is in good hand, that's kind of giving them a really good feeling about that the dress is going to be fine and we are there from them from beginning to the end. What's the, is there an average, um, average time frame to make a dress and is there an average price? Good question, Anthony. I appreciate it that you asked me that question. So that's another thing that makes us different than anybody else because every wedding dress time frame is usually about five, six months to really? arrival, but we're not talking about custom gowns. We're talking about uh, dresses that you order from any companies. So those dress require alterations. Here at Adrian Brown Couture, I can make a custom gown for you for one month for made to your measurements and no alteration required. So I'm the fastest as well, also with this incredible team behind How me. How does one get in touch with uh, Adrian Braun Couture's before we finish up? They can go to our website as adrianbraun.com or also reach out uh, to us via Instagram. That's also Adrian Braun and Adrian Braun Spell Couture. That for everyone in the it's audience. It's A-D-R-I-E-N-N-B-R-A-U-N. Well, I tell you, it's been a pleasure speaking with Likewise. you. And I, I feel the energy, so we know your business is going to be a success. Uh, just by the, the spark you have, and, and that's important in business. It's another proof of what Hudson County has to offer uh, to its many residents. Um, and it's just a, a wonderful opportunity, it's, and we wish you success. Anything we can do with the county in the Office of Women and Minority Business Enterprise, please feel free to contact us because we want to see you succeed. And Appreciate you're another it. American uh, success story of a person that comes from another country and succeeds by sheer willpower and your, your ability that you donated and gave back is so impressive. I'm uh, Commissioner Anthony Romano for Stick at Night. We'll be back with our next guest. Newport, the luxury waterfront community on the Hudson River offers a quality of life you deserve in one of our many high-rise towers. With amenities such as the on-site Newport Path, 
light rail, Newport Town Square, three playgrounds, dog run, upscale restaurants, retail giants like Kohl's, JCPenney, Macy's, and Target. Morton Williams and Acme Supermarket are just outside your front door. A health and fitness center, skating rink, and medical facilities are also on site. Enjoy the New York skyline from our waterfront and various parks. Manhattan is just one pass stop away or quick ride through the Holland Tunnel. Nursery and private elementary schools all on site. 12 screen movie theater at the Newport Center Mall. Looking to visit? Stay at the Westin or Marriott Hotel. For more information, visit us at NewportNJ.com. Make lasting memories to cherish forever. It's incredible. It's you, Newport. Live like you want. Welcome back to Stick at Night. I'm Hudson County Commissioner Anthony L. Romano. We want to thank Adrian Braun for coming by. Uh, another successful business in Hudson County uh, based in Hoboken. And now we have a return guest with us, Dan Levinson from Vibel uh, Energy Drinks. And Dan is uh, another person who started out on his own, and he's done many great things now with his business. Dan, tell us what's going on. Where are you based out of for our audience again? Where can they buy your product? And what's in it that makes it special? Yeah, thanks for having me on again, Commissioner. I appreciate it. Um, we're based out of Hoboken. Product's called Vibel Energy Tea. It's an all-natural energy drink alternative, and uh, you can buy it online. We just got into ShopRite last year. Yes, I seen Huge it. Huge deal for us. It's been uh, exponential growth, and we're really getting a chance to share positivity with the community. And how that's what's you, most important to us. How did you wind up getting in ShopRite, figuring a big conglomerate like that goes for big name brands? Mm -hmm. So you must have had some selling point that, uh, that ShopRite picked you up. Look, they have a lot of conventional products in ShopRite, and what we wanted to offer them is an alternative for some of those products. So what we have is an all natural, healthy, low sugar, low calorie, low carbs, low sodium, high vibes. And it was something that we can offer to their customers that are looking to make different lifestyle choices, maybe looking for healthier products, maybe people that are looking for, you know, a natural, healthy pick-me-up. And so we found that it was something that they wanted to carry and we did some testing and we kept testing stores and we kept doing demos and we kept seeing really positive results so where's your where's your location now for your office uh it's based out of hoboken um but where is the product made in new jersey yep everything's made in new jersey and we are everything's made in the usa made in new jersey um and we have our we have a shipping office in new jersey uh and we have two warehouses now Wow, used to be one. You go into two warehouses. Yeah. How many people are working for you, Dan? Um, on and off, I have about 22 people working for me. Uh, they local talent? Yeah, local talent. I have contractors. I have people helping with uh, orders, um, with deliveries, packing the shelf. We have people that are helping doing demos. I have uh, about a staff of six or seven people helping me uh, with manufacturing when we're doing our manufacturing runs. Uh, advisors, um, business partners. Now, our previous guest had uh, explained how she had uh, donated uh, to the community uh, during COVID. Um, what about your company? Do you do any community service, community work? Yeah, we're looking at uh, a lot of different options for getting involved in the community. We've partnered with a few different organizations so far. Um, uh, Ocean Cleanup, Big Blue Ocean Cleanup. We've donated to uh, brain and behavioral um, research organization and we're looking at options locally with uh, Hudson County um, like Hudson County Sierra Club um, just joined an event uh, a couple weeks ago with the Boys and Girls Club and just trying to find other opportunities where we can donate time um, product if it's appropriate so anyone that has ideas please feel free to reach out um, things that are really important to us is helping give people um, motivation, inspiration, uh, second chance. If people are trying to turn you know, their life around, make healthier decisions, people are looking for you know, things to inspire them, be healthier, whether it's fitness or just going for a walk. We want to help people and be an inspiration for people in the community. What do you attribute to your success to? As I've followed you, whether it be up closer from afar, mm -hmm. 
uh, it always seems to be the successful business happens when the head of the company, as we learned previously with Adrian, is the driving force and doesn't take anything for granted. They work hard. And I admire them and, uh, about you, whether it's at, it, um, at the Main Street Pops or any of the, the markets. You're there yourself. You don't leave it to your staff. Mm -hmm. You ensure that, that your product is properly showcased. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm very involved. And with all the showcases, I'm making sure the demo table looks great, the product's properly uh, displayed. Every time we have a merchandising opportunity in store, I'm checking on all the stores, even if you know someone else is packing them out. I'm doing store checks, making sure the bottles are turned right, making sure the labels are faced the right way, uh, cleaning them, making sure the bottles are lined up properly. So wherever it is, if it's at Main Street Pops, ShopRite, a showcase, a demo, I'm there. And I think, like you said, it's really important uh, when you're early on to make sure all those touch points when you're getting your product first discovered by people is, you know, properly presented, looks well, clean as possible. When we come back possible. from commercial break, I'd like you to explain each one of your different products. And uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, is there anything in the future about a, a non-caffeine drink or is that possible with regards to energy? I'm just curious because of some people, as myself, due to some medical requests. We'll be back in a little while with Dan Levinson to continue this discussion with another successful uh, young business owner. Um, so stay tuned. I'm Commissioner Romano, and we will continue with this wonderful beverage. Good Friends Self Storage in North Bergen, New Jersey is a fully climate controlled facility equipped with state of the art security, packing supplies, a refer friend program, and multiple loading docks convenient for commercial use. Located just off of Route 3 at 4301 Tunnelly Avenue, Route 1 and 9. Call 201-867-2444 or visit us on the web today. Good friend self-storage. Let us be your good friend. Welcome back to Stick at Night. Let's continue our discussion with the owner of Viable Beverage and Energy. Dan Levinson. Dan, let's, let's see what we got here. Okay, first of all, would you tell our audience um, if they want to get in touch with you and ask you any questions or interested in, in carrying your products, how do they do that? Yeah, absolutely. Please reach out to us at viable.energyt for Instagram. Go to our website, which is www.drinkvible.com, or you can call us toll free 1 888 99Vible. Wow. Okay, let's see what we have here. This one is spicy ginger. Yeah. Tell us about your different flavors and uh, is it, you know, where does it go with each one? Mm -hmm. person, how does one determine how to pick out what's good for them and yeah. what's in them? Well, that's my favorite actually, case in point. You can see me drinking one right here. Uh, I have one of these, this flavor specifically, almost every day. I think that if, you know, someone's looking for a natural, healthy boost of energy, um, this is a really good option. It's low sugar, low calorie, low sodium low carbs, and it's got the same amount of caffeine as two coffees per bottle. So it's a really good energy, and it's all natural. As opposed to a lot of other products out there, we don't have any artificial sweeteners, no fake flavors, no preservatives. No carbonates or any of that. It's not loaded with all those synthetic B vitamins that you're seeing a lot of um, you know, negative press about. It's all natural ingredients. Negative press, huh? It's also balanced energy, and that's why it's called Vibel. Vibel stands for Vibes and Balance, because we're all about good vibes, balanced energy. And the balance part is really the ginseng that we're adding, which is Korean Panax ginseng, highest quality ginseng on the market. And then we're also adding amino acids like L-theanine, which helps with alpha brain waves, which puts you in a more of a relaxed, alert mindset, as opposed to caffeine alone, which is beta brain waves, which gives you more of anxiety and excited and then we also add l-theanine i mean uh, l-tyrosine which uh, helps stimulate dopamine production so it's a really good balance boost so if you're looking for a healthy balance boost tell us about each really flavor option Name yeah the flavors, so we yeah. got five flavors we got honey pomegranate lemonade fruit punch and spicy ginger they all have the same nutritional profile they all have the same balance boost and they're just flavored with different natural juice what and as you said what's your biggest seller 
Our biggest seller, it really depends. Um, recently, it's been the pomegranate. Uh, overall, it's usually the honey, and um, my favorite is the spicy ginger. And what's the difference between the honey and the uh, spicy ginger? Yes, yeah, so both of them are made with uh, green tea. Everything's made with real brewed organic fair trade green tea, the best green tea I could find. And then this one's sweetened with uh, organic uh, wildflower honey and has organic ginger juice in it. So the only real difference is this one has the extra uh, organic ginger juice added. And are they sold as a, uh, as a group or is it each flavor uh, has its own package? Yeah, in store we sell single bottles, but online you can buy f four packs, six packs, and 12 packs. Okay, Look, I'm gonna try some. Let's do it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I know ginger is very good for the stomach. Yeah, it's got a little zip, right? Yeah, it does. It's good. Yeah, the ginger's got the added therapeutic benefits that ginger is also good for inflammation. It's good for digestion, metabolism. Almost as a probiotic. Yep, exactly. Say. Wow, it tastes good. It is. It gives a good zing to it. Yep, that's because we use organic ginger juice. That's where, do you, stuff we can where do you see your business going now? From the last two years? To the moon. Okay, I like that. We're, we're going to continue to grow. Uh, we're still brewing. We're vibing. We're thriving. And we're looking to expand our footprint. We're looking to expand our partnerships, whether it's uh, with people on social media. We've been applying to a lot of other retail chains. We've had conversations with a, a handful of retail chains. We've gotten good feedback and we've got some interest. And we've got some, uh, some big meetings coming up. How about the gyms and Hoboken, see what else like comes Crunch? Up. In that. How are they, are they interested? Uh, yeah, in terms of um, gym chains, uh, we've reached out to a bunch of them, including Crunch. Crunch is very corporate. Uh, we've reached out through their, like, you know, um, you know, their corporate entity. And a few more things would have to be in place in order to uh, work with someone like that. But we just got into Fitness Factory. Shout out Fitness Factory Hoboken, Fitness Factory Jersey City, small local chain. And trying to find other, um, you know, small local fitness chains. I know fitness brides gyms. are very anxious, so you should hook up with Adrian. So this way, when they're getting fit for their wedding dresses, they yes. can drink Vibel. <laughs> yes, it's a great uh, gift for uh, bridesmaid and bridal showers, and getting ready for all your events. And sports. I know um, softball teams that I play on. Yeah, this they, is really good drink. for studying. That, this is get, really Gatorade good for sports. Is too much sugar. You know, and I, that, as you said, nowadays everybody watches their sugar. Yeah. Well, Dan, I can't tell you how, how good it's um, been to have you back. Proud of what you're doing. Um, another successful business based here in Hoboken, and it's constantly growing. And again, as I, I said before, the drive that you young entrepreneurs show to make sure and, sh and ensure that your businesses are a success means so much to the customers to know that the boss uh, is still taking care of things. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon at Stick at Night. To Dan, let's, let's go to Viable Energy. And Adrian, good luck uh, with the wedding gowns. Thank you. We'll talk to you again.